Okay, FAQ number 20. Should we support non-King James Version, King James only type ministries? Non-KJV ministries, should we support them that are doing good things? Uh, well, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 22, verses 18 and 19, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Uh, that's a very serious warning to mess with Scripture. And you see these new versions, uh, they're changing the Word of God. They are adding to and subtracting from knowingly. Okay, And it's not even just a matter of the new versions are accurately translating their Alexandrian Greek, the Vaticanus and Sinaiticus, you know, manuscript there. No, they oftentimes don't even translate those. Uh, there are many, many cases, and I can't go into it here, but there are many pl places and cases where there is clear textual support, even from the Alexandrian side, and the new versions will not translate it. They will not even accurately translate their own corrupted text. You know, there's an agenda, a satanic agenda behind the new versions. And the brother that asked this question mentioned uh, answers in Genesis with Ken Ham. Uh, Ken Ham knows about the Bible version issue, okay? And he is against the King James Bible only position, the, the King James Bible believing system. He's against it. Would I give him a cent of my money? Absolutely not. No. I will not support anybody that is messing around with those satanic new versions. And we, can, we must remember, brethren, these new versions are satanic. There is a conspiracy behind these new versions. I mean, I have done the collation work on the old NIV, the 1984, and then the, the 2005 TNIV. I did the collation work. There is an agenda, okay? You can see it getting worse. It gets much, much worse as time goes by. The new versions that showed up back in 1881 with the revised version, they were a lot closer to reading like a King James Bible, and as time goes by, the new versions are getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And if you have a professing Christian that doesn't have enough sense to see that and say, hey, man, these new versions are evil. They're bad. Stay away from them things. Why would you support somebody like that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, brethren. No way on earth. I don't want to be anywhere near, you know, this, this somebody that's using one of these new versions. I mean, I'll have sympathy, somebody who's just brand new saved and they get messed up and they're using, quoting out of an NIV or something like that. But let me tell you something. If the Holy Spirit's there, it's going to be a, a time there, maybe a little bit of time, but they're going to get to the King James Bible eventually. If you have somebody that's, well, you know, I, uh, yeah, I don't really like the King James though and I want to use my new versions. Those new versions have a satanic spirit in them. Okay, I experienced it. Uh, it just it felt the same as reading witchcraft books and stuff like that when I was reading these new versions. I mean, hey, 25 years of my life, I used a new version. Over half of my life, I was using new versions. Okay, New American Standard Version for the first 10 years. After that, NIV for 15 years. Don't talk to me about these new versions. Don't say, well, you've never experienced it. You've just been, you know, King James only caught all your life. Oh, no, most of my life I've used the new versions. Okay. Uh, most people I've talked to that are Bible-believing Christians now, King James Bible believers, they can tell you, yeah, I used the new versions and it was bad. I could feel spiritual problems. I was having all kinds of problems like that. A lot of them weren't even saved using these new versions. Okay, so why would you support somebody that's perpetuating that system? Absolutely, absolutely out of the question. Absolutely not.